In this video, my special guest is going to show you how to make a beautiful florist quality bow that you could use for many different uses. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Ave and this is Life and Flowers. I'd like to introduce you to my husband. This Hello. is Ron Brown and he's going to tell us a little bit about himself and then show us how to make bows. All right, take it away. Well, I <clears throat> represented a manufacturer of domestic ribbon for about 42 years. Totally enjoyed it. Gave me a great opportunity to meet a lot of people and to get into a lot of different industries selling ribbon. So what I'd like to do today is kind of take a wired ribbon that's two and a quarter inches wide. And I'm going to do a, um, a bow a couple of times to kind of show you a technique that I use. And I start off with a tail that's maybe oh, 15 to 18 inches long. And what I'm doing is pinching it together and I'm twisting it and I'm going to make a small loop, which I will show you. This little loop will be used for the wire to go through and help cover some of the inner workings of the bow. So what I'm going to start to do after this little loop is just start making loops. And I like to make them, and I'll tell you the difference, about the same size on each side. This kind of creates a little more of a ball or a pom-pom uh, looking bow. So what I'm doing is one loop, my tail's over here. Don't be too concerned at this point about the look of the bow and I'll show you why. I'm just gonna loop and at each time I'm gonna do a twist like this. Make another loop about the same size loop and I can probably go a little bit faster than the novice starting but it is important to kind of keep those loops about the same size. I'm going to do five loops on each side for a total of ten. So right now we've got three and three. I'm going to do two more on each side just pulling a little bit extra out, a loop, twist, and a loop. And some of you may say, well, why are you twisting? This particular ribbon happens to be two-sided, but there are a lot of ribbons that um, we come across that may have a print on what they call the taffeta side, and then kind of the basic, um, blank on the back side. And what you want to do is avoid the back side. So that's why I'm twisting each time. So I now have five loops on each side. I'm going to pull this out and try to make the tails. I'm going to take some additional video that I hope will be helpful. These tails I'm going to cut like that. So it's about the same size. And what I prefer to use is called a chenille stem. And some of you may say, well, that's nothing but a pipe cleaner. And you're absolutely right. But I'm going to take that. Um, plain wire, covered wire works great. The um, chenille stem or pipe cleaner is a little bit better when you're twisting it because it doesn't hurt your hands. So I'm putting this wire right through the center. And what I'm going to do is come around and this is where I want to get this as tight as possible. Just a couple of twists and you're going to say, well, that's not much of a bow. But what I'm going to do before I get to the bow is I'm taking the two ends of the tails, I'm going to lay them on top of each other, fold it over, and I'm going to make a cut from the ribbon to the edge, like that. And that kind of gives you a little more of a finished edge. And now I'm going to take the bow and hopefully you can see, 
I'm just going to put my fingers in each loop, kind of pull it out so it, it has a little more body. And then you just kind of move it around until you're pleased with it. And one of the things that I like to do with this pom-pom looking bow is just kind of come in, take advantage of this wire edge ribbon, which is so much easier to use because it's very forgiving. So I have my, my bow the way I want it to look. Now I'm going to take the tails and I'm just going to use my fingers and just put a little bit of a swag. And that just kind of gives it a little more life. And I'm going to turn this around with this 12 inch chenille stem. This is absolutely perfect for attaching to a tree, to a wreath, or anything that you want. But you or have a this a package, anything that will work. Candlesticks. Well, what's beautiful about this bow, and I, I know you will cringe, but you literally could take it, flatten it out, throw it in a bag, and the following year, you just lay it down and just pull out the little loops until you get that desired look. So you have something that will go for season upon season. So that is my bow tying technique. And at some point in this video, I made a three yard, a four yard and a five yard bow because people ask, well, how much ribbon per bow? It really depends. A three yard could be perfect for a good size package. A four could be a great wreath bow. And the five yard, quite honestly, is pretty large, perfect tree topper. But unless you give very large gifts, which I'm hoping my wife might be giving me uh, this coming year, then you could use the five yard bow on your package or your gift. Okay, so you mentioned uh, more of a pom-pom look when the, you have the loops the same, approximately the same size all right. around. It, sometimes when I was a florist, I would make smaller loops in the middle and gradually make them bigger and bigger as you go out. And I mean, um, and, what and do you I, think about that? And would that be more for a wreath or? Yeah, see, I, I think what Ave is saying is that the um, larger loops going to smaller or smaller going to larger will make the bow a little bit flatter. Mm -hmm. And for a wreath, that may be what you want. Or if it's on a garland, you may not want this kind of bow going all the way across where it's a little flatter, it might just work. So that is the absolute beauty of, of this wired ribbon is that you can just kind of make it to what you want. And it makes it so easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. It thank was, you for showing us how to make a beautiful bow. It was a pleasure. Yes. And I'm glad you asked because <laughs> this is the one thing I can do. And if my wife hasn't already teased me on previous uh, <laughs> I did, um, yeah. things, is I can, could barely change the oil in my car. <laughs> uh, a light bulb could be difficult. He can do a light bulb. But a bow. So it's a special gift. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Yeah, see, that's that's off, right? No, it's on. Oh. <laughs>